Hi, this is Mark Laughlin. Now I'm going to do the review on a Ruger American Compact 9mm. Now, why did I choose the Ruger Compact 9mm? Well, what I was looking for was an ambidextral pistol. That is a pistol that had controls, perfectly mirrored controls for running the firearm left-handed or right-handed meaning it had a magazine that's right-handed, a magazine release that's left-handed. And then also right side and left side slide releases. And that's for to meet my perfect ambidextrous mirroring requirements for the ambidextral gunfire. Okay. Now, let's look at this specific firearm, this Ruger American Compact 9. The, what I like is, of course, the big feature for me is the ambidextrous magazine release. Now, what I wish is that they were, the buttons were independent of each other. It's nice. Okay, I'm cool. It's great that we have an ambidextrous mag release. I wish that I could push the right side button and not have the left side button come out a bit. Because what's happening is if, I mean, in my case, my fingers are fairly small and they do fit this nice little groove here and uh, get around that mag release so that I can then push it on this side. It's not interfering with it. But if uh, my finger's off just a little bit, when I shift to get a mag release, if this finger's in the way, when I try to push here, if this finger's in the way, then it's interfering with my ability to eject that magazine. So it would be nice if pushing on this, this button did not push out on that side. That would be a nice additional feature. Okay, I'm glad we got the ambidextrous mag release, but that would be a future. Let's make that happen. Now, the other thing is the ambidextrous slide release. All the reviewers that I've seen mention Hey, this gun has not only ambidextrous mag release, but an ambidextrous slide release. Well, that is not actually true. Because what I found is, sure, if I work the slide release on the right-handed, it works just fine. But if I work the slide left-handed, I'm unable to push this down. It's just there's too much flex in that mechanism that uh, it cannot transfer the release through this mechanism from one side to the other. There's too much flex in it. So anyway, I contacted Ruger. I thought, hey, there, maybe there's an upgrade. Maybe there's a fix. Maybe I've done something wrong. Well, this is the message I got back from Ruger. You see... It is not actually an ambidextrous slide release. It's an ambidextrous slide stop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why do you need an ambidextrous slide stop? I have no idea, but it's there. Now, uh, I, I, my suspicion is, is that they went to produce an ambidextrous slide release and in testing they found out, holy crap, this isn't working. Uh, we'll just call it a slide stop. If that's what happened, I don't know. But, disappointing. Hopefully they can get that ironed out and maybe a future version it will be a slide release. Now why do I want a slide release? Sure, I can reach over the top and release the slide. When I insert a new mag, do that and release the slide and, and, and do that. But what I want is I want that ability to insert the mag, hit the slide release, and good to go. Just faster. Speed. That's why we want it. For the takedown of this right pistol, for the takedown of the Ruger American Compact 9, you'll uh, you lock the slide back, you eject the magazine, operate the takedown lever, it clicks into place. Now, if you have the magazine inserted, if you leave the magazine inserted, you're going to find this will not come down. There's actually a mechanism from that up into the mag well 
that creates, uh, prevents it from completely locking into place. And then you just uh, releasing the slide stop and the, the uh, comes right off the top. Nice captive spring. Slide it back on top. Lock it back. And we're good to go. Um, another neat feature has Novak sights. Nice feature. Although as an ambi gate pistol shooter, not as critical, but it's still nice to have for those long shots. And then um, something I found an issue with, and it's a sporadic issue, I'm not able to consistently create it, is that the pistol works fine shooting right-handed. But often left-handed, I find that this, the uh, trigger safety binds up and I can't, it, it binds up and just hangs up a bit. If I push hard, it does break, push through and, and operate and fire the gun. But something's just not quite fully engaged. And I'm not sure if it's my trigger finger not getting a good straight backward pull on it or whatever. But we'll see that. Maybe that'll smooth out as I use it more. But it's something to keep in mind. It's not as smooth as the Glocks. It's not as reliable using that safety, that trigger safety. It's just not freeing up the trigger to move all the time. It's almost like it's, it's just binding up a little bit. Now the cool thing is we've got uh, the, this 12 round magazine in this compact gun, but it also accepts a 17 round of its bigger brother. Uh, nice grip panels. I've gone to the smaller one and in order to in order to get a better position for my mag release. And I also found that this gun points very well when point shooting. When I'm fully locked out and my elbow and, and wrist are locked out and index my finger, the grip angle is just perfect for point shooting. Uh, it's got a nice little picatinny, short picatinny rail here if you want to run lights and stuff stuff like that. I like to keep my guns as light and compact as possible. Uh, I did also swap out the original pinky extension mag plate, face plate, for just a straight one, which was included. And uh, I find that much more useful. The except, it does include an ex extra 17 round mag and it has a sleeve that fits on it, which I actually just leave off because I'd rather have that extra space for it to fit down into a mag pouch. And not have that sleeve rattling around or sliding up and down and changing things there. So now one thing, and we're going back to that spreadsheet that TFB TV did, was that this has a it's rounds per ounce is not as high as I'd like. It's 0.42. That's the raw rounds per ounce. It's 0.42. Now, I prefer something that's at least around 0.5 or higher as the number of rounds per ounce. Also, this gun it is fairly, fairly thick. Now, in comparison to, this is my preferred concealed carry weapon, is the, the Caltech PF9. It, it uh, holds seven rounds as opposed to 12, but it's much thinner. It is a pound lighter. Yes, a whole pound lighter than the compact, the Ruger Compact 9. Uh, doesn't have as, as good a trigger. Uh, it's much more cruder design, I guess you say, or cruder finish, but it is lightweight. It is compact. It is a 9 millimeter. It carries seven rounds, which is uh, three more than above the normal, typical gunfight uh, number of rounds used in a gunfight. Uh, it is nice to have the extra extra five more rounds of this, but your your weight in the slide is pretty it's pretty hefty. This will shoot nice, does shoot nice, but it's uh, it it's weight it's heavy. It's heavy to carry. It's a pound heavier. That's a pound you could be used to carry a lot of other things. You, have, you can only carry so much. Uh, size and weight is important. So that's why this is still 
my concealed carry pistol, the Caltech PF9. Yeah, it's not as pretty, it's not as fun to just oogle over as the Ruger Compact 9, but it, it's gone bang every time I've pulled the trigger, and it's very lightweight, and it's on me all the time. Anyway, back to the Ruger Compact 9. Uh, I think it's got a great finish, a great feel. It's uh, a beautiful finish. A lot of good functionality as far as the mirroring of the controls. I just wish that slide stop release was a truly slide stop release and not a slide release and not just a slide stop. That's something that is a pretty big failing for me. If it had the fully ambidextrous mag release and if it was not one side and uh, imp impacted on the other and it had a functioning slide stop I might be tempted to make this a carry pistol for me uh, even despite the extra pound of weight I might be able to endure that pound of extra weight for those features but given that those features are not functioning as perfectly as they could Caltech PF9 is still my go-to concealed carry pistol. Now I do also on occasion use the Ruger LCP, which was a it's a, a great 380 pistol, very super lightweight, very small, and it's great for like uh, if you're backpacking or uh, or mountain biking. In my case, I do a lot of mountain biking, and the 380 is great from self-defense weapon in mountain biking. Now, not exactly ideal for if you're in grizzly country. In that case, I think nine millimeters is probably gonna be a minimum for grizzly country. But still, uh, Ruger's LCP is a great uh, little 380 pistol. It actually is a design basically stolen from the Caltech 3AT uh, Alpha Tango 3AT and uh, the 380 is a great little pistol, but again, the Ruger has a little bit better fit and finish than the Caltech products. But Caltech, as far as design, you can't beat it for lightweight, compact, and just, you don't have to worry about it. I mean, it's, it's a very affordable pistol, so I just, uh, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if it gets beat up, I don't care, you know. Whereas this is uh, a nice finish, it's almost a gun safe gun. This will actually be a bedside pistol probably, or maybe a, a vehicle pistol, but probably will not be see much much action in a, uh, a carry option for me. So Ruger's Compact 9 comes with a, a nice uh, 12 round magazine and a 17 round magazine. And the magazines are, are steel and they're coated with this really slick substance, really nice. They're actually very light for steel magazines, very light, but feel very, very robust, which is typical Ruger. Now the 17 round magazine, which is from the, the pistol's big brother, uh, comes with a slip on sleeve. So that, and you get uh, kind of an extended grip feel to it, like that. Now I actually prefer, uh, running it without the sleeve, at least that's my current preference. And uh, the reason, I mean, it fits in just fine like that. And yes, my finger is on the, the magazine a bit, but what I like is that uh, without the sleeve, that actually fits down deeper into a, a mag pouch rather than extending out the top of the mag pouch with that slip-on sleeve. Really nice case, um, which is kind of unusual nowadays. You see a lot of Pistols coming in just a cardboard box anymore. I don't really care about the case, but it is a nice, you know, a, a very robust, nice, rich feature. Uh, it comes with the lock. Uh, this is these are the uh, the grip changes in grips. I've got the the medium and large size grips there. There is the magazine base plate with the pinky extension on it. I just like to, I like the flat base so that it conceals better. So that's my thinking and then also a little it came with a little chamber flag in it as well so nice setup nice clean package 
And then looking at the quality of the construction, I mean the slide, it's the stainless steel slide with the nitride coating. Um, you can also see that there was a recall on these pistols. If you have the, the pistol with the, the black uh, barrel, then you know you've got an, an upgraded pistol. If it's the uh, silver colored barrel, those you'll want to check your seal numbers and see if, uh, if yours is subject to a recall. But anyway, the quality is uh, really good. The checkering on the slide is a multi-directional checkering, which has a really nice grippy feel to it. I do wish there was a little maybe something up here for the you know operator mag check kind of thing. And uh, but it's 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 nice. I, I like the the appropriate amount of uh, stippling, I guess you might say, for the grippiness on the grip, but not too much in order to let it come out of a out of its holster or concealed carry position without uh, restraint. Got the Novak sights with the ramp on it so that they don't hang up on stuff. I know some people think you got to have that ability to you know do the whole slide operation with one handed and um, yeah and that's fine. Uh, for me the sights are not important and getting that that's just a clean draw that's to me is more important but you know there, there's arguments both ways. Anyway, the quality of construction is typical Ruger, excellent, uh, good construction, very clean. It's a, a pleasure to just hold and own. Um, it's just, it's heavy and, and a little bit fat. I would like to see this thing, if this pistol could drop, say, four or five ounces, then it's, you know, it's, it's rounds per ounce count would be much better. Currently, it's at less than point, it's like 0.38 rounds per ounce. And it really needs to be above, uh, you know, 0.5 rounds per ounce or, or a one round every two ounces. And this is just, it's just a little heavy. Now it's great for if you, you know, if you're just kind of the guy that you got your concealed carry license and you, you want this gun and you want to go out and shoot a lot, go to the range and do a lot of shooting, it's great for that because it's, it's, it's heavy, it's robust, it's going to hold up to a lot of shooting. And it's going to be easy. It's easy to shoot with this, you know, the heaviness uh, and some of the other features make this a very easy gun to shoot. It's, it very stays, stays level under shooting. Uh, doesn't recoil much compared to a much lighter pistol like my PF9, which weighs almost half the weight of this. So it definitely feels snappy compared to this pistol. So, but... But so if you're the type that's got your concealed carry license and you just want a gun to shoot and you think you're going to carry, but then you actually, when you try carrying this, I think most people are going to find that this ends up become a, a bedside table pistol or, or a gun safe pistol. That's something that you take out and go to the range with, but you don't actually carry it because of the weight and a little bit of the girth. The girth isn't too terribly bad for a, a double stack but the weight is noticeably heavy. In fact, when you pick it up out of the, uh, new out of the box, you feel this thing is, a, well, it's heavy. <laughs> it's pretty heavy for its size. You know, personally, I don't care about a little excessive recoil, a little bit of jump for a, a concealed carry weapon. To me, it's more important that it be light. But still, nice quality firearm, feels very durable. Um, <clears throat> I think most people be proud to own it. Anyway, that's, that is it for the Ruger American Compact 9. I mean, uh, we're looking for other options and future development on the product. And uh, maybe someday uh, I'll find something, find my super lightweight, super compact, full ambidextrous uh, defensive 9mm pistol.